All right, guys, we are back with uh, some more Mario. We're live on stream tonight for uh, continuing on from where we got the other day. Uh, I have sent him a DM, Mika, it's fine. Um, but if you want to send him a message as well, uh, I don't know if he's busy or whatnot, but uh, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, we're going to carry on. Uh, we are on World 7. Uh, so yeah, the puzzles the puzzles are made by Hugo. Everything is made by Hugo. Um, so the aesthetics, the backgrounds, the puzzles. I think even the, I think he's even made the music on this as well. So um, yeah, it's really a sort of like a real fantastic job, indeed. So if you've ever wondered what like playing Portal in two D is like, fear not. This is what it's like. <laughs> So, what is our goal? Yeah, I'm just trying to work out where. I guess we're going to want to sort of come out here, aren't we? So, now that we've done that, we could jump down. Actually, we could probably do this. Hey, there he is. There, there's Hugo. Hugo's here. Welcome, Hugo. It was just. Uh, giving everybody who wasn't aware a brief overview of what's going on. But, uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Literally just getting going here. So, I th think we're going to want to do something like this. How many blocks do we want? Um, four, five jump from here and then I need to obviously portal down as well something we overlooked okay so that we'll do that get our portal ready there we go okay so next up can't pull behind there he's got a door so this is connected all the way up to this first First light bridge there. Interestingly, we can see that from there. Yeah, I've got the bullet time on me, uh, Hugo, and I've also locked the screen. Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, letting me uh, know what the command for that was. So that's why I thought that would instantly kind of. Press the wrong button again. Try not to use the um, the reset portal button if I can help it. When I'm not looking and I'm like randomly trying to press the use key, I kind of inadvertently hit it. I went a little bit too far. My area can be a little bit um, slippy sometimes, I feel. surface there so what's interesting is we can actually yes okay I think I see what needs to be done here one of there we actually want that that was wrong port <laughs> what we want to do is put it on here jump back up and we'll shoot the orange ball here the minute that's blocked but then we can go through here and stand on the button to let the surf the uh, the gel go through that now leaves us free to portal through here oh okay okay so I think then what we're gonna want to do is that to there and there we go excellent um 
yeah, sorry, I probably should have explained. The game is, um, thanks for, for linking, uh, Hugo. So the game is available on the forum um, with the map pack. Hugo has also listed some um, instructions of how to sort of like get going, how to install everything, blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, it's very, um, it's it's a very cool concept. Like I say, um, some of the things don't quite work how you'd expect them to do because I think that's just, as I kind of said in my first video that was released earlier on today, um, I'm thinking of things from like a portal engine kind of point of view, whereas this is obviously not portal, this is Mario. So um, um, yeah, Mika with a gift sub to uh, Hugo. Mika with his 10th gift sub on the channel. You absolute legend. Hugo, welcome, welcome to the subscription club. Enjoy that one emote that I think you get. <laughs> um, all right, so let's jump and then wasn't enough. So we can go back up to here. And go right to the edge here. Slow the time down a little bit. Excellent. So that opens that and that. So I guess what we're going to want to do is... Um, I think we're going to... Uh, we can't do that because of that. I was going to think of it like Infinity Fling. We can probably walk along here though. I think that's probably going to be an option. Then we can fling down there and out there. Then we can. Oh, that's bounce gel. It's not conversion gel. Why do I think that was conversion gel? I don't know. Okay, anyway, let's um, not worry about that train of thought at the moment. Let's go through here. Uh, here I did say, yep, yeah, press down and it can stop you from bouncing. So I could actually go through here, potentially bounce up to there. I don't see anywhere else to go with this at the moment. Let me just slow the time down a little bit. Again, in a moment. Okay, try that again. Fantastic. Okay, excellent. So, next up. Uh, I'm trying to think what we can do with this cube. We could portal to there. Portal to there. Interesting that I obviously Again, it goes back to the engine, but like the gel just sort of like disappears. If it's like funneling between two portals, that's quite. Does the gel sort of like have like a maximum distance it can travel or something, Hugo? I know it probably might be a bit. Um, I don't know if you know the answer to that. So. I'm a little bit concerned. That's a little bit too close there. Oh, it has a lifetime. Okay. Again. Uh, 
I thought I was going to catch the edge. Okay, we made it. Fantastic. So, I can see that there. What I don't know is... Okay, the cube doesn't bounce. Excellent. So, we're getting there. We are getting there. So, next up, we can just simply portal here. Now, we don't want to pick this up, aren't we? The simple fact that we can't just take it underneath there. Okay, so we do that. We need to get the cube to this position here. Yeah, the game is free. The the game is is free, Atom. So if you follow the um, follow the details, um, Hugo is listed. Follow that um, forum. There is actually a link to the vanilla version of the game. Alright, so now the question is how can we get the... How do we get the cube past the gel? Section to the map packs info page with stuff for new players. Cool. We'd have to drop down here. This, this. Okay, I'm guessing the cube auto respawns, right? So that means we could do this. thing I'm going to do is drop down here, go into this portal here, then fire to there to drop out of here, through to there, jump across to here, portal up to there, jump back across, fizzle this cube, should drop out there and drop onto there, open the exit, and then we can just, doesn't matter, we don't need to maintain portals anymore, I think. I think. That's what we need to do. The scariest bit of this is this jump here. Yay, success. 
Down the pipe we go. Alright, on to map number 9 of 16, so we're halfway through. Uh, slightly unintended, okay. Hopefully I'll um, get through it, um, I'll get through it tonight and then I'll be able to um, watch the second half of your, uh, your video. Here you go. Oh, deadly lasers, it's like that is it Hugo? Deadly lasers. I see. I see. <laughs> we need to uh we need to get team spin on that, I think. We need to get him to make some friendly stuff for Mario. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is, um... Oh, wow. That's cool. I didn't expect to see, like, anything like that, if I'm honest. But yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. So I'm thinking next... We do that. And we do that. But we're going to need some gel over here, aren't we? To bounce off here and up to there. Okay. So, how do we get gel over to this side? Yeah, so I think I think what I gotta do is do that and that. I bounce off this one, hit that and go up to there. And then because I've already got a portal there, I just need to fire a portal to there from here. But I guess in this scenario I'm am I stuck? No, because Mario can jump high enough, right? Yeah, no, we're good. We're all good. All good. Don't panic. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. Like I say, I it, it's a common thing you see in Portal 2, but I didn't expect to see like a move like with the gel, like that work the same way in, in this sort of game. So that's fantastic, Hugo. That's fantastic. All right, on to number 10. Right there. Not quite an angle there to hit that. Looks like Hugo did that on purpose. But I guess what we need to do is we'll be flinging over to there to put a portal onto there to then potentially use that afterwards. I can I can certainly tell that actually by looking. Which uh, as well, Portal Two players, if you're out there and you haven't played it already, make sure you go and check out Mandelbrot from Human he, from Human from Hugo. <laughs> I'm sure he is. Hugo. I'm sure he is Hugo, human. Um, 
human bee designer. Um, yeah, a fantastic uh, map from Hugo. Okay, I assume that's permanent. Okay, I wonder here if... I wonder if this requires a bit of reporting. So I'm just going to slow things down a little bit. I wonder if I need to report on here, and that's going to actually fling me higher. Well, I'm going to come out of there. Um, no. I'm not going to report, am I? I didn't even put a ball surface on there, so I mean, that was an, an epic fail straight away. Do that, do that, go through here. <laughs> Frogs are people too. Mika been playing too much Talos. doesn't give us enough, so I'm guessing we're going to use this one instead. Okay. And then we're going to need to set this up again. This and there. Through here. Pull there. Pull there. Through here. Pull to there. Through to the exit. Cool. Excellent. I found my groove. I feel like I found my groove compared to what we did earlier on in the um, in the video earlier. All right. Level eleven. We are restricted by a light bridge, which we can get around like that for now. Is that what that was? I, I saw the rainbow, I didn't realise there was a pot of gold though. I would need to actually do this one here. It looks like there is... Yeah, there's a button there, look. All right, so this is going to be this is this is cool. There's um, there is a bouton right there. Not a button. There's a cube. Cube is infinitely spawning. Laser fields. So, that's a faith plate there. I didn't see the faith plate. Oh, okay. Um, I wonder if we can get some... I say if we wanted to do some bullet time, that wouldn't really help us. Because... Hmm. The only way that's going to help us, I guess, is to get a portal here to fling up to here. So we could try that. Let's place... Portal there. 
hold there for now. Oh yeah, that's going to restrict us there though. That's not good. Do that and that. Alright, we'll just stick to this for now. No. What however instead if we did this? Oh wait a second, I mean it's just totally stupid here. Yes. We don't need that at all. We use the light bridge. So we use light bridge like that. We need the light bridge there though. Let's just get rid of that so we can just jump onto the roof. Jump over here. Mario! Why are you so slippy? Alright, so I need to portal, but then I need to I do I'm gonna need to report to here. Let's go slow-mo. Okay. Now we can pick the cube up. Excellent. We have the cube. Let's try not to lose the cube. That would not be good. Oh, I was booking yellow paint. Okay. Okay, so let's think about what's happening here. It's turning on laser field and laser field. That's on a timer. Is it just as simple as... Being in the right position to... Shoot that. Also, can you shoot through... Can you shoot through the... Laser fields? Yes, you can. Okay. Excellent. Here's what I'm thinking then. No, because I still can't see that from there. All right, what I could do though, potentially, if I take this cube back, Get is that that intended, Hugo? Hmm. 
Oh, you can see that opening the door. Okay. Now, what I'm thinking with this cube is... This could be like, big yikes, but... Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Although... Don't really know how that helps. Because I would need it to be on... Uh, I need it to be on the light bridge, wouldn't I? do something with this cube and I may have just messed everything with every possibility up with this cube because now I've put the cube on top of the button. So now I'm going to have to respawn that cube. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's how we did this. I think I've got to restart the level though, unfortunately. Because the cube isn't respawned, is it? Um... Okay. Well, we know what we're doing up to this point at least. So that's something, right? I really enjoy those sort of like behind the scene in depth look look at maps but I do appreciate they take so much like extra work to, like put together for the map maker so it's not always possible to do them but yeah no I I really do love those sort of behind the scenes look um Mike Stroh's um behind the scenes thing of um how he and Leo made um Isotope with a very like interesting re uh, interesting watch indeed. All right, so um, here's the thing. Okay, that's that. Stop doing this, please. Please. All right. Thank you. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this. I tell you what, though, that's. What am I shooting there? Alright, that whole sequence is a bit weird. I drop that there. 
Key. My finger is over E. I'm pressing E. Okay. I do need the cube then to stand on there. Why couldn't why is it not letting me find the blue portal? I, I don't understand. It's a little bit strange. Yeah, it's not letting me find the blue portal or anything else. My blue portal's been disabled, which is really weird, and then yeah, of course lets me fire it. Okay, so my idea of thought process here is to do that. But then it doesn't drop. Okay, that that makes sense. Um, sure. I guess this doesn't work like it does in Portal then. I, I'm pretty sure, well, I think, I'm not pretty sure, I think what I need to do is get that cube on the light bridge in position, so I can then run across, hit the button, come back out from behind the laser field, and then get rid of the portal, the cube will drop on the button, I can then go back onto the light bridge, and it'll do what I want it to do. I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't be able to fire a portal quick enough if I was to say drop the cube on this surface here and then refire the portal onto there. I don't think that would I mean we can try it. Ah, I shouldn't have put the bottle there, where is that? 
Outputs. How long have I been playing Portal? I still don't get that right. So, um, gonna want to fire there, aren't I? Hmm. I'm not sure this is what I need to do. Interesting as well that um, like the catapults with the the cube doesn't fire it over to here. It's interesting. Okay, I can see that from there. Okay, so I'm thinking then uh, there might be another way to do this. There we go. All right, Mika, no worries. Thanks for hanging, buddy. And once again, thank you very much for the um, gifts up to Hugo. Appreciate that. Uh, sleep well, buddy. And I will catch you next time. Don't die now, please. Please don't die now. Yay, we did it. Excellent. All right. Level 13. Oh, my goodness. Pepsi Max, indeed. Like the little snowman. It's actually snowy outside, I just realized as well. Interesting. There is 
not very many pole surfaces here, is there? light bridge. No. Where to really utilize that from is that? I should about say, I know it's a silly thing to say, but I was just about to say, is that ant line connected by snow? <laughs> like the ability to nope. oh I did I miss the light bridge oh well anyway Okay, so I guess that's that. I actually want to shoot it from the other side, though. Move the cube across to say there. Okay, so we have that, we have that. Now we're gonna want to, I think, bring out here now we have to be very careful here because um, we're gonna drop we're gonna drop the light bridge Yeah. There's a panel of snow where the ant line should be. Do you think there's a panel of ant line where the snow should be? Mm, interesting, interesting riddles. <laughs> so this panel's here. Um, I don't know what this is going to do. Let's just try it anyway and see what happens. Okay, so that stops that there. Okay, yeah, I, okay, I see what I need to do, I think. Is that a contradictory statement? So I think what I need to do is shoot here.
Uh, I wasn't quick enough. But yeah, shoot there. And shoot there. Now the issue there... The issue there is we would need the portal to be... We would need this to be the other way. I don't believe... It doesn't look like there is a way... To reverse... That as such. And I realised that was a great descriptive sentence. I think I've got the right idea. Just the order of execution which is letting me down. So I could shoot that from much further across. The See, I would feel, though, like I need to... So I need to block it there. I can do this quite easily like that right that's fine what's not fine is I can't I can't get out of here which is why I felt like I need to I need the The reason I could change it before, though, was because there was, like, a double portal surface there on the floor, wasn't there? That's the reason I could, I could do that before, which isn't here this time. Going on, Coco. How you doing? Why is the room so empty? Um, don't know what you mean. <laughs> All right. Something we're missing. What are we missing? Other than the 
answer to the solution. Still stood here. Not a good thing. Yeah, I just, I don't know how to... there I wouldn't be able to see that one there Yeah, this is a um, this is a special map pack put together by Hugo. Um, it features 16, 16 bespoke um, levels. This is level twelve of the sixteen. So I can fire there. Drops. Go on, Paul Punky. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see ya. I'll get arrested by the video game police. Oh, there's, um, there is a, a bullet time thing. So, um... If you need to do like quick um, portal shots, Coco, I can slow down the um, the time scale um, just to make the shots a little bit easier. Yeah. Although I don't know because the the thing that always gets me with like Portal One mods and Portal One sort of themed games is the fact that when you come out of the portal, like your whole view flips. It's so disorientating in Portal 1. I absolutely hate it. Honestly, don't know how. I haven't got any other options here, though, really, have I? But to do this. I don't know what other option I've got. Because I can't. I can't put this portal anywhere else. to get across to the button here, the exit button. And I don't have enough time to run across after placing like the portal where the orange portal is now.
And also, the minute I shoot a portal now, the cube gets respawned, which is fine. Um... Yeah, I, I don't tend to play a lot of Portal 1 Coco, so it's really, I just tend to uh, grin and bear it when I need to. And pray for the fact that we're, uh, we'll are we be getting back to Portal 2 relatively soon. <laughs> um, yeah, that'd be good if they did make a sequel. That'd be awesome, Port Ponky. Do you know what else I should make a sequel to? Recursed. <laughs> um, I can do. I, I I can take requests. I have played some uh, custom mods and things for uh, Recursed, its own sequel. Recursed is never ending, so, you know, I'm just constantly going around in loops. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. I really need to play the Ice Palace. I really need to pluck up the courage and like say, right, we're doing it. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what side I shoot this from. I know we've sort of, I'm just, I'm just like going over everything again in my head. Um. <laughs> I take it you've, um, you've not had much joy with the Ice Palace either. Okay, I think I see how to do this now. I've just seen, I've just realized, maybe, potentially. If I could do that first. So I still don't see how that would help. Unless I was to do something crazy like that and that. Hmm. Yeah, I finished a couple of levels, but I was just like, my goodness, this is difficult. <laughs> Insanely difficult. Not sure if that was progress. I would have to assume not. assume not, although it was something different. It doesn't matter what I do there though, it's not going to... Oh, wait a second. Okay, this is crazy. Okay.
Okay. That's insane. That's complete insanity, Hugo. You mad chap. <laughs> you absolute mad lad. Oh, that was awesome though. Really good puzzle, that one. Really, really cool puzzle indeed. And that is the end of world level 12. So that leaves us with uh, another four to go in this very nice looking overgrown area. Very nice indeed. But um, guys, I'm actually going to leave it there for tonight. Um, I'm almost out of time for the stream. So uh, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate the support. Um, Everybody on YouTube will be back with the final four levels of Hugo's Mario map pack real soon. Um, sooner rather than later, don't you worry. Um, until then, guys, though, uh, we'll be back on stream tomorrow night. We'll be doing the um, other map pack. I can't remember what it was called, but we'll be doing another map pack uh, of 20 maps tomorrow or so. And then um, if we get time to do extra stuff as well after that, we will move on to that. But thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I really do appreciate your support. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Happy gaming. Bye, guys.